drama. The resolution. You don't want her to turn out like me and wind up in prison. It already has started down that road. It's all today on Trisha. Sinister accusations are tearing this family apart. You took me to a house and tried to sell me for a car, and then you also took me to a house. claims her mother's ex molested her. Do you believe it happened? This church, I was there in the bed. That did not happen. I was there. Did you, you ever see her in the bed did one think, time? Did, did it happen? happen? And it gets worse. Emily is also claiming that this man is the father of her young son. I know it happened, and if he was still alive to do a DNA, it would prove it. Emily's sister and mother are appalled by the accusations. Why would you lie? I did! Yes, okay. you did! Yes, I 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 are you saying you were jealous of the attention that your ex was giving her? You are a stepdaughter, not his girlfriend. I was his girlfriend. Will the lie detector vindicate a victim? Did your mother's ex-boyfriend pressure you into having sex with him? The polygraph determined that Emily... I you lie. lie. Don't you dare. Special hour. It's all today on Trisha. <laughs> this is Jessica. Jessica is here today to get to the bottom of accusations that are so sinister they're tearing her family apart. Jessica's sister Emily is accusing her mother's ex, who's now dead, of having sex with her when she was a young teenager. Oh. Now Emily is also claiming that this man is the father of her young son. When Emily revealed this secret to her mother, Tammy, and Jessica, they refused to believe a word of it and a family war erupted. So listen to how all of this started. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. I grew up in a very loving household. I think Jessica wound up in a better home. Although they grew up knowing each other as sisters, they didn't have a very sisterly bond. When we would see each other, she would always try to beat me up. My sister and I have always had our differences. We never coexisted well because of our different lifestyles and, and home, home lives. As they grew older, they had different versions of what happened during their visits with their mother. I enjoyed visiting with my mom and her ex. He was always a loving, kind father figure. I dreaded going to my mother's house because her ex pressured me into doing things I didn't want to do. I felt the shame and dirty, and I didn't feel safe there. Emily's accusations soon drove a wedge between not only her and her sister, but also her mother. I don't believe what Emily said about my mother's ex because she's a habitual liar and she's always trying to get attention. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. He told her he would never do anything like that. The two sisters raised apart are now forever locked in a battle for the truth. I want my sister to own up to what she's done. She needs to give my mother the peace of mind that she deserves. I want my mother to know that when I took the lie detector test and for the past five years, I've been telling her the truth all along. Wow. So, Jessica, what is at the heart of all this? What is your sister saying that you really have an issue with? That he did that to her. I, I don't believe her. She, she's lied my whole life. When you say she's lied, she, are you saying this is just one of many lies? Yes. She tried to tell people that she was going to school for journalism, right. but I'm going to school for journalism. What, you, she kind of took on your life? Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, she told my mother and her mother-in-law that she was going to be a journalist and in the... That, that, that's my life. But she'd never gone to college or no, done any of these no, things? No, she dropped out of high school. So you're thinking, are you saying that you think she's made all of this, this up about being sexually assaulted? I mean, why yes. would she do that? Because she's always been a liar and she's always wanted the attention. She's always the victim. Let's go right back to the beginning. When you were children, you weren't brought up with your mum. You're the older sister, am I right? Yes, I'm so, the oldest. So why weren't you brought up with your mum? 
because at the time my mother was um, on drugs and she was always on the road with truck drivers and and she was never around. You didn't go to the same home, you, you no. and your sister. What? Where did you go? I went to my mother's um, therapist, case manager. Good childhood. Yes, very good childhood. I was. I had a good life. You had a good life. Do you think Emily got the same treatment? I the don't, family she went to? I don't think she got, she got the short end of the stick. So are you thinking she's what, jealous, envious? Yes, very jealous. So and what's the relationship between you and your mom, Tammy, now? Now we're very close. It's, it's, we're mother and daughter and... And what about your sister? Does she have the same sort of relationship with your mom? No. So when did you first hear about these allegations that she's been making? When, when it first happened, uh, she told me that he had raped her. And How long ago was this? Um, she, she probably about So were you ever there and saw your sister being interfered with or? No, no, never. Um, I mean, I was there, but he never did anything like that. He was he Never was did anything like that no, to you? No, he was never perverted. He was always, you know, funny and kind and he always would, you know, get me things. He would ask me, do you need anything? Do you need anything? No, I'm fine. So but he was a good father figure? Yes, he was. So are you really saying that you think your sister made this up? Oh, yes. What? Do, why? For attention? Oh, yes, for attention. Your she... sister Emily doesn't have her children with, with her at the moment. Her children have been taken away from her. Why yes. was that? Um, she neglected her child, and because of the first child being neglected, the other two got taken away. Right. Because uh, they didn't, she couldn't be a responsible mother. Do you know who reported the ne neglect? I did. So I did I. Her. What, what made you do that? Me and Emily were at a concert, and... Um, the, the baby was, had a dirty diaper and mm -hmm. I said, Emily, we need to change him. And she said, you know, she's busy watching the concert, so I need, I had to go do it. So I went and changed his diaper and as soon as I was changing and I saw what he looked like, he was bleeding. He was bleeding and it was exposed skin. She was not taking care of it. You were the one who reported her? I was the one that reported does she, her. Does she hold that against you? I think she does. <clears throat> so you and her growing up, would, did you squabble or fight her sisters? Yes. To what extent? Did it ever get physical? Yes, she was always trying to get physical with me. She, uh, she even tried to kill me. She What? She, she got mad because we were having a sleepover and um, she wanted a certain side of the bed and I wouldn't give it to her yeah. and she got angry and physical and pushed me on the bed, jumped on my chest and tried to choke me. Uh, my best friend walked in and ripped her off of me because she was going to kill me. Now, let's come back to your relationship fairly recently. Now, I understand there was a whole situation around your wedding. Yes. What happened? Did, did your sister, did Emily go to your wedding? No, she didn't. You didn't want her there? I wanted her there as my sister. But why didn't she turn up? She, she slept in. Are you scared of her? Oh, yes. I'm scared. I can't be around her without feeling like she's towering over me or like she's, you know, going to do something to me. You know, I can't even say what I want to say around her. So is this going to be maybe one of the first times you, you can say what you yes. need to say? Yes, without being scared that she's going to hurt me. Wow. Okay, well, there are two sides to every single story. I want people to remember that. And as you know, Jessica's sister Emily has been backstage listening. So I think it's time we hear both sides of this story. Let's bring Emily out. Coming up. When mom gave us up, you got the mom, the dad, the sister, the brother. Yep. What did I get? And later. The abuse she alleges at the hands of your ex. Do you believe it happened? This church, I was there in the bed. That did not happen. I was there. Did you ever see her in the bed did you one time? Did you ever see her? What? What? Oh, yeah. Families in turmoil. Did you Don't you dare. Today on Trisha. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. I grew up in a very loving household. I think Jessica wound up in a better home. As they grew older, they had different versions of what happened during their visits with their mother. I enjoyed visiting with my mom and her ex. He was always a 
loving, kind father figure. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. What is your sister saying that you really have an issue with? That he did that to her, I, I don't believe her. Okay, well, there are two sides to every single story. I want people to remember that. And as you know, Jessica's sister Emily has been backstage listening. So I think it's time we hear both sides of this story. Let's bring Emily out. No! No! What are you saying no for? Okay, no. have a seat. Have a seat. You heard what your sister had to say. Now, what is at the heart of all of this? I hear you had, you, you look so angry with your sister. What, what's oh, yeah. The... I've never tried to kill you, Jessica. You're full crap. You've always gotten into you fights, have, and no, you know. You sat on you my chest, no. you tried to kill me. You, you tried know to what? choke me to death. You know what? When mom gave us up, you got the mom, the dad, the sister, the brother. Yep. What did I get? A grandmother and an aunt and all females and you couldn't in be my happy family. that you actually had someone to take care of you? You would rather have our mother take care of you while she's on drugs? But you know what? I was she's sitting back there saying to, to some of the other producers and everything that I should have been responsible and yes. everything. Yes, you have a and child. She, and she you have wasn't a child. responsible, you need to be responsible at 18. Mother. And she wasn't mother. responsible at 18. Yes. And she gave us away. And I was... I dropped out of high school to take care of my severely disabled son the best I could. Emily, let's talk about what's at the heart of this. What are you alleging that your mother's ex did to you? What is the, what, what happened? My mother had gotten a hold of me when I was about Yeah. And she had said that she moved with this guy. She, you know, she loved him and everything and wanted to start seeing me again. So I started going over there. Um, the first time I can ever remember uh, feeling like like something might have been going wrong was one night when my back was hurting. I had laid on the bed. My mother had said that, you know, her ex did good massages with lotion and stuff. And so yeah, so what? I had her, I, he gave me a full body massage and everything. Why and would he do that? Did no. you have your clothes on or off? I had a sports bra on and some very short shorts, and my mother was yeah, actually. Yeah, because provocative. But he didn't do room. anything. Hang on, you saying if she was assaulted, it was her fault? Surely not. No. Surely, please. It's don't not her say fault that. if she was assaulted, but I don't believe her. Okay, so you're saying what? With this, it was just a massage, or did things that go? That day, I was there that day. Oh, okay, all right. When did it go? When did? When are you saying things went further? Uh, about two visits after that, my mother had left the house and went somewhere, and uh, we was in the bedroom watching some TV together, you right. know. And he started rubbing on my back and everything, and 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 asking if I had ever done anything with anybody, and and. Had you? Had you? No, no, I had never had sexual intercourse with anyone. So did he force himself or he, he pressure you? He persuaded me. He he. Why would she even leave you alone with him? She never left you alone with him. That's bull. He had well, me on the bed and forced me to do it. No. When did you tell your mother about this? I told her about two weeks after her and her ex left for Why did you wait till then? Because oh. I didn't feel safe with, with him around. And how did your mom react? She didn't believe me. She's all, she, for I've been telling her the same story. But when you initially, when you first rang her up and told her what happened, how did she react? Was she concerned? She was shocked. Did she say, she, what did you, did she, she believe you? She didn't believe, I don't even think she believed me at the time I told her. I think she had her doubts it, no, that not he could have done it's it. Sure. Because he's not that kind of person. He would never do that to you. Why would, why would he do it to you and not to me? I mean, he never made a pass at me. Because I look just like my freaking mother. Look at us, look at us people, we look the same. What do you think of your, hang on just a minute. Now, what do you think, hang on, we will come to, whoa. Up next. Do you believe it happened? This church, I was there in the bed. It did not happen. I was there. Did you ever see you her in the bed did one think, time? Did when you, it hey, happened. Just a minute. What? what? Then. If you're lying, I will walk off this stage and write you off like a bad habit. Yeah, habit. because I've wanted to do it for five years. And later. Did you do that? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. 
families in turmoil. Is it just Don't you dare! Today on Trisha. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. I grew up in a very loving household. I think Jessica wound up in a better home. As they grew older, they had different versions of what happened during their visits with their mother. I enjoyed visiting with my mom and her ex. He was always a loving, kind father figure. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. What are you alleging that your mother's ex did to you? We was in the bedroom watching some TV, and he started rubbing on my back and asking if I had ever done anything. Did he force himself or push you? He persuaded me. She never left you alone with him. He had well, me on the bed and forced me to do it. No. Now, what do you think? Hang on, we will come to you. Yes, it is. Jesse, I'm stop. sorry. Okay, no, that's right. So what Jesse, do you want? What made you so angry? First of all, I may have not raised you, but I carried you for nine months. No, 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 you no, stop. no, 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 I accept it. that, but I want everybody to know in the whole world to know I was sick. I was an addict to meth and crack cocaine. I could not take care of you, so I did the right, responsible thing as a mother yeah, you can say it's and made sure you were taken care of. I could have took you out on the streets with me, well, and you'd be dead. Okay, all right. Have a seat, have a seat, Tammy. Um, Wait, my family, you took me to a house and tried to sell me for a car, and then you also took no, me to no. a house, gave my birth certificate, and didn't even know where I was at. Just a minute. It seems to me the point where you came out angry, Tammy, was when Emily, I was asking Emily about the abuse she alleges at the hands of your ex. Do you believe it happened? Miss Church, I was there in the bed. That did not happen. I was there. Did you ever see her in the bed did you one time? Did you ever What? 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 Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what she claims. She claims, but get this. She claims that I was in the bed when she was mentioning about the back rub. And I was in the bed. Supposedly, he couldn't get her positioned right. She, he took so me he to the couch. In the living room with a couch. But hold on, we didn't have a couch. That's bad. We had two recliners. had two up, so, had two so, chairs. No, just a minute, it. just a minute. You lied. Oh, you lied. A long time ago. Okay, Tammy, we need to, I know their feelings are running high here, and this is a serious, this is a serious allegation. Yes, now, it is, because I was with okay. him six months, and Did I you... love that man. He changed my life and got me clean. Okay. It's so So you had this perfect relationship with this guy, is that true? Really? Didn't you tell us that there were a lot of bad parts? Didn't he yeah. lose work through alcohol consumption? Did he have a problem with drink or drugs, this particular he person? He had a problem with drinking, but he never laid his hands on me. He waited on but me, he had you, a book, he cooked ever, for me. Did you ever leave her alone with him? Never, never, never. never. You were lied, never. Wow. I was always in a home, and you know what, hold on. To even sort this out even better, and you better sit and you listen and you think real hard. Did I not come out on the patio one day and get you and take you in there in the room in front of me and confront you no. that you were being too clingy to him and back the hell off? No! Yes, I, I did. Because as a, as a stepdaughter, you don't love and cling on to a man. Okay, just a minute. Are you saying you were jealous of the attention that your ex was giving her? She was being all lovey, sitting in his lap. Mom, oh. you are a stepdaughter, not his girlfriend. I was his girlfriend. You, you messed Have me over. Have a seat. Have a seat. 
Yes, ma'am. I don't know what happened and... He I, came hang on me. just a minute. I don't know what happened and the lie detector that she has taken will tell us in the end, but just listen up. I am, concer I am concerned because well, no matter what you said, the way you are acting as if you, are, you were jealous that another woman was no. taking your territory and that frightens the hell out of me. Church. He came to me, Whoa. Trish, you know, you know, know listen, Trish, listen. he came to me asking me to have a talk with her because she would not stay off of him. Okay, but what I'm saying is oh, God, you I see mean... her... You see her as some competition. Now, let, do you think... Are you angry with your mother for giving you up? I am. I am, because she could have been exactly what I did. Hey, just a minute, just a minute, just before... One of the things that Jessica said, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, was one of the reasons she was angry for Emily was, quote-unquote, acting the victim. I wonder where she learned that from. You hear what I'm saying? I'll tell you where she learned it from. Raised up around kids that taught her how to be that way, promiscuous, had a... That's bull! I was bullied a, my whole life at school! Oh, I don't know how to T even put it where the she had sexual mother, tools at 13 years old. God almighty, the hatred! Stole you? her grandmother's you? credit card she to did. order them online. That's no, Just that's a minute! No just a minute! Tammy! Tammy, stop it! Tammy! I'm going to stand in front of you. Look, I want you to stop this now. Because, listen, OK, all of the things that she did are you, and that you're so angry about, I wonder where guess I where it started? It, hang on, just a minute. It started, it started with you, my love, and was your it drugs. I was in a Exactly. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not a victim here. I'm not saying you are not a victim here, because I know you went... I know you went through your own hell, which is why you ended up on drugs, and you gifted that hell to your, this child in particular. It keeps repeating itself. Up next. When my grandson was born, this little girl's breast milk came up with marijuana. Hello, most of these problems might have come about because of your drug use when you were pregnant with her. And later. Did your mother's ex-boyfriend pressure you into having sex with him? The polygraph determined that Emily... <laughs> Families in turmoil. Don't you dare! Today on Trisha. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. As they grew older, they had different versions of what happened during their visits with their mother. I enjoyed visiting with my mom and her ex. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. He forced himself or he pressured you? He persuaded me. She never left you alone with him. He had well. me on the bed and forced me to do it. raised you, but I carried you for nine months. You can't be a mother just for carrying a child. A That's mother raises her child. I was asking Emily about the abuse she alleges at the hands of your ex. Never, never. You a lie. Never. One more important thing to Ooh. say. It'll That's be gonna vicious. Blow every It'll be vicious. Mind. It's going to be evil when and vicious. When my grandson, the last one, was born through 11 weeks early, this little girl's breast milk came up with marijuana. Now explain I don't that know where from. the heck it yeah, came that's right. from. You don't know, I don't know where. where from, but you don't know me. where. You've Just obviously been smoking Just it. Just a minute. Am I right in thinking, and you were very honest, Tammy, that you were using drugs? Were you using drugs when you were pregnant with Emily? No. I thought no, you said I you were. No, I drank. I drank and used you marijuana, drank. but I was not using meth. All right. I so, did not do just a minute. Admitted okay. to me that you did no. drugs and oh, you drank. What's, what's that? Whole, she admitted That's to me. Marijuana. Marijuana. Let's say your let's say your daughter. She, yeah. she, drugs. Hang on. She admitted to me. This is your mom. Admitted yes. to you. Yes. On the but, phone because we live five hours apart. Yeah. That she did drugs. I don't know what drugs and drank alcohol the whole time she was All pregnant right. with Emily. Okay. And so here's and is that why you think this is why she's like she is? Yes. Okay, I do. so here's the thing. I do. So, and I, and so I take listen, responsibility. Tammy, 
you accuse her of having marijuana in her breast milk when, hello, most of these problems might have come about yes. because of your drug use when you were pregnant with her. And so I don't accept point that. with three fingers pointing back. And I accept she that. Is responsible for Now, your child, herself. your child isn't with you. And no. you've just found out for no. sure that... What happens if this lie detector test... I don't know what don't the results know. are. What happens? Let me ask you. I don't know. Hello, what happens if the lie detector test comes back and says she's telling the truth about the abuse she's talking about? What then? What I, then? I will be woman enough and motherly enough to say I'm sorry and please let's put this in the past and in our relationship and go on. Okay. But if you're lying, I will walk off this stage and write you off like a bad yeah, habit. because I've wanted to do it for... Wow. Why didn't you? Now, so let me just tell people, since Emily's son is not in your custody, uh, because I, I understand, are you alleging that this ex, it could be his it dad? It could be, yes. Oh. Well, because her son's not in her custody and because the alleged father is deceased, we couldn't perform a DNA test. But she had agreed to take a lie detector test. Our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, is here. <laughs> Tim. Okay, so this is an extremely, I'm not saying that all our lie detector tests aren't important, but this is probably one of the most important that you've ever had to do, Tim. Would I be right in saying that? Yes, you would, Trisha. Okay. So, we asked Emily, did you purposely not show up to your sister's wedding to ruin it? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Emily was not being truthful. Oh. All right, oh. sit down. Emily, we asked, did your mother's ex-boyfriend pressure you into having sex with him? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Emily... Coming up, will the lie detector vindicate a victim? Did your mother's ex-boyfriend pressure you into having sex with him? The polygraph determined that Emily... <laughs> Leave her alone. Yes, leave her alone. <laughs> Families in turmoil. Don't you dare! Today on Trisha. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. As they grew older, they had different versions of what happened during their visits with their mother. I enjoyed visiting with my mom and her ex. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. He forced himself or He, he persuaded you me. She never left you alone with him. He had well, me on the bed and forced me to do it. raised you, but I carried you for nine months. You can't be a mother just for carrying a child. A mother raises her child. I was asking Emily about the abuse she alleges at the hands of your ex. Never, never. You're a lie, never. Are you alleging that this ex, it could be his it dad? It could be, yes. Because her son's not in her custody and because the alleged father is deceased, we couldn't perform a DNA test, but she had agreed to take a lie detector test. Our polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, is here. <laughs> Tim. So, we asked Emily, did your mother's ex-boyfriend pressure you into having sex with him? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Emily was not being truthful. I Tammy, when you told her you had sex with her ex-boyfriend, you said no. Oh, Tim? God. The polygraph determined that Emily was not being truthful. <laughs> Why would you lie? I did! Yes, you okay. did! Yes, you did! Yes, you did! Yes, you did! Yes, you
Okay. You're a little girl Tim, anymore for you to whip just my ass. Just be, be You're a woman. Okay, be quiet. Watch your mouth. Be quiet. Yes, thank you. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Tim. You sure? Yes. In this case, I did ask... Uh, will you stop crying and listen? I did come up with another question for Emily, and I asked her, are you lying to me right now when you say you had sex with your mother's ex-boyfriend? She answered no. Polygraph determined she was not being truthful. I've done a lot of polygraph exams, Trisha. Yes. And I always ask the people when I finish the exam, as I'm unattaching the instrument, I always ask, how do you think you did? Emily gave me, a, the first time I've ever heard this, she gave me a very strange response. She said, I don't care what that says, I'm telling the truth. Yes, I've never she heard told that me before. That too. Before we You've come never to heard the show. that before. That's not, not as an immediate response before after giving the test. Before we come to the okay. show, she told me the same thing, no okay, matter what it I says. I'm okay, no, just a minute, wrong. just a minute. I, I feel what has happened here, that you have convinced yourself that it happened. And I understand, I understand why. There's a lot of anger with your mother about the way she treats you, am I right? <laughs> Are you yes, angry with the mother? I know it happened. We can Emily, convince ourselves. Tell me the truth. We didn't. can hang on. Well, it didn't because the lie detector clearly picked up where your daughter was lying, and she lied Did about this. And lies. I can understand. Listen, you talk and you don't learn. You say you've moved on from your drug past. I suggest to you, you haven't, because you're still. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not saying you're still using. I'm talking oh, the behaviour. Right I'm talking about your behaviour right now. Well, and let your daughter okay. lie about I hear what you're saying, and I do want to talk to you for a moment, but there is a reason why people do this. There are many reasons why people do this. Number one, they convince themselves that this is what happened because they feel alienated before they have their children taken away for reasons that they can't understand, even though other people tell them those things. It's a whole thing. Um, you two have had remarkably similar backgrounds. Does, yes. does Emily, I put it here, does Emily remind Tammy of herself yep. too much? Amen, yes, she does. When you look at her, it's Amen. like screaming at yourself It's like in the looking at me so, in a mirror at her age of Right. Just like her. Exactly. And I'm trying to change her and give her advice, but she won't listen to Why me. should she listen to because you? Because I don't want her to turn out like me and wind up in prison. She already has started down that road. But I'm trying to stop it you and can't. she won't listen to me. All right. And I put, is Jessica the person that Tammy wishes she'd been? And I think she, if, in an ideal world, don't you wish you'd had the kind of background and upbringing yes. that just... Yes. Yes, I do. Up next... Leave her alone. Yes, leave her alone. <laughs> I know All what right, I stop, said, stop, and it's stop, the truth. Stop. Families in turmoil. Don't you dare! Today on Trisha. These two sisters were given up as babies and grew up in two separate households. When I told my mother that her ex was having sex with me, she didn't believe me. She never left you alone with him. He had well, me this... on the bed and forced me to... I was asking Emily about the abuse she alleges at the hands of your never, ex. Never, never! Did you lie to your mother, Tammy, when you told her you had sex with her ex-boyfriend? You said no. Emily was not being truthful. You have convinced yourself that it happened, and I understand. There's a lot of anger with your mother about the way she treats you, am I right? I don't want her to turn out like me and wind up in prison. She already has started down that road. Like I told him, when it got done, I don't care what it says. Uh, okay. It's the truth. No, you it's can't not. Deny this. You can't deny in her it. head. In her head. I'm done. Wipe my hands. It's not in my head, head Trisha. My daughter, it's not in but my I'm head, Trisha. I'm done with Trisha. you. It's not. Okay. I'm done with you. I swear on my dead father's grave. Who I consider my father. I you swear on his him. grave. You didn't, know you didn't him. even know him. Okay. Listen. You have no right. He was a good person. You okay. have no right to swear on someone. Hey, 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 hey. Wow. Mm. I can understand. There are such things, you know, there were whole trials brought because people had what they call false memories. They believed it, they smelt it, they went through it all. 
The lie detector picked up when you were truthful, but it's little signals that in deeply in your subconscious that your body gives off. It's not Tim deciding, it's a, it's a lot of body deep down somewhere, you know it didn't fat. But it, I know it happened and if he was still alive to do a DNA, it would prove it. Okay, well he's, he's not. There is specific counseling to deal with the past and feeling abandoned, and that's uh, is that that's yes, because I was in counseling pretty much up until I was I had, I was pregnant with my son, my oldest son. Can I suggest that our moods when we have children and what have you, they they go through many cycles, and maybe that you reconnect with that because you have a lot to deal with, and you need some assistance getting getting through that. I can understand why what's happened has happened to all of you, to all of you, but you know if I'm tough on your mum. It's because you can't have a past like that and say, all right, I'm clean, I love myself, let's all move on. Because guess what? You leave a whole trail of <laughs> in your wake. Yeah. She has. <laughs> Can you look upon your sister with kindness? You don't have to accept or what she did or what she said, but you can understand some of those feelings. Yes. Can, you, can you? Would you allow your sister to, to let her hug you? No, because she turned me into DHS and caused my son to be taken. No, when I but hang on, hang on, him. hang on, hang on, just a minute, just a minute. Maybe she did what she felt she needed to do for, for that little boy, okay? Hold up, hold up. Oh. Before the whole blame gets put on my daughter, she ain't the only one that called on you. I did too. Oh, Listen, I know you did. Because you know why? Seeing what my grandson, a bloody butt, sitting in diapers for three to four Me hours. His like, condition caused you're that. You're a real good mother, you're just like I was when you I'm say that. Do some damn you know, research. Like, leave her alone. Leave her, yes, leave her alone. Oh, let go. I know stop. what right, I stop, said, stop, and it's stop, the truth. Stop. Okay, stop, sweetheart. He stop. hurt me. I, he hurt you by taking your mother away. No. Okay, but what I want you to do, that's why I was talking about some kind of counseling. And the other reason that I asked if your sister could give you a hug is because you are both, in different ways, both have suffered from what your, your mother's past. Can she at least come and sit here? Just hold your hand, not hug. Okay, so you scoot over here. All right? It's just sharing that you have a similar past and a similar pain. That's all you're doing. Okay. Give her your hand. Hold on. Don't have to agree. You don't even have to understand. But you can feel your sister's pain wherever it comes from. Stand up, sweetheart. And I'm here, I'm, an, I'm the adjudicator. <laughs> I know you're cross and you're feeling all sorts, but it's about just feeling the pain at the moment, okay? You hear what I'm saying? That's all it is. You're not gonna love each other, or be best buddies, but you understand each other's pain. You just express it differently. Give that a go. Just it's about, I feel your pain. <laughs> and I think your sister's giving you a, a gift in that you you're shedding some tears, so she's allowing you to let go a little bit and say, I'm a little girl and I hurt too. Am I right? Families in turmoil. Don't you dare! Today on Trisha. All right, once again, I want to thank you for being a part of the show. Remember, we're about real people talking about real stories and me trying to come up with some real solutions. Take care.